Hello everyone and then welcome to another tutorial video. As promised, we will be treating what um, limits and differentiation using the calculator to find the limits and differentiation. Now, this video will be solely based on only limits, okay? So the next video will be based on what differentiation and then we move from there. Now, without further much I do, I will urge you to you know, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos and then that's by clicking on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. Like the video, share, and then let me know in case you have any questions in the comment section. I will reply to them as soon as possible, okay? Now, let's dive right into this video. Now, once you come across any um, question which is limit-based, okay? Limit-based. All you have to do is just what? Punch this um, question on the calculator and then you arrive at what? the correct answer for what the limit okay for the limit um question okay so let's do that now this will sound a bit tricky so you have to pay very much attention to what what i'm about to you know teach you okay it's very very important once you know this trust me you will ace every paper on what the limits okay right so let's do that so the question is what um let's point the question so we are about to one 1 minus x okay equal to what x squared minus what 3x plus 2 now this is our question okay so the same thing is over here now all you have to do is just find what the limit okay so from here you could notice that the limit is what approaching 1 once the limit is approaching 1 means that it hasn't gotten to 1 yet okay so it's something like 999 almost one okay so some point nine 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 almost one so all you have to do is just replace these x values with what any value which is very much approaching one okay so click on this and then we point in what this what one so you have to find values which is what approaching one so you have what point nine okay so point nine 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 is the same as what zero point nine 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 okay don't be confused and why you see point nine 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 on the calculator is the same as what zero point nine 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 nine. So let's check out the answer. Now, as initially stated, we want a certain value which is close to one, okay? Because x hasn't reached one yet; it's just approaching one, okay? Right. So let's see. So from here, you can notice that the answer is what one. That corresponds to what c. So the answer to this question is what c, okay? Right. See how simple this is. Yeah, it's very very simple now let's pick up some questions from here okay let's pick up some questions from here so let's say you, you come across what another question which state that maybe limit of x okay approaching let's say two and then we have the equation to be what x plus four okay x plus four and then divided by what maybe x minus two and then we have another question um we have another question limit so let's say this is one example this is another example so we have another limit approaching what one okay and then we have the expression as 2x squared um let's say okay so two okay let's pick x over here and then we have what minus three okay minus three and then you divide this by what um let me let me rewrite this well okay so we have what three and then we have um let's say s squared minus one now we are about to solve these two questions okay right let's do that again all you have to do is just point the expression on your calculator so let's do that so we have what okay so after punching what the the question just like here okay s squared minus four on what x minus 2 this is supposed to be minus okay so x square minus 4 x minus 2 you just pick a value which is close to what which is what 1.9999999 okay 1.999 so that you get a value which is very very close to 2 okay so after that you click on equal to sign you end up with what the limit you see how simple this is okay this is very very simple let's take the second question okay let's take the second question so we have what 2x squared okay 2x squared plus x minus 3 okay and then you divide that by what x squared 
okay minus one okay so after that you pick a value so this is also what s is approaching one so we need a value which is very very close to what one just like how we did over here okay just like the same thing we did over here so you choose a value which is very very close to one and that is what 0 0.9999999 okay and that will give us what five on two so the limit for what this question is what five on two so you can apply this method throughout okay and you, then you arrive at the correct answers to respective limit questions okay thank you for staying with me to the end of the video and then the next video will be treating what how to use the calculator to solve what differentiation problems okay i will see you in the next video can like share subscribe to your channel turn on your post notification so that you don't miss out on any future videos and i'll see you in the next video bye bye